coach, what what does it mean to you to come back to Houston, Texas, and and to uh, I guess honor honor your your late father as well? Yeah, it's it, it, it's a it's a really great opportunity for me. I was with the Oilers and with my dad. Uh, I was with the Texans, and uh, now being with a a new league and a new team is going to be really exciting, and I'm re really looking forward to it. All right, and, and why, why was this the uh, right time for you to come back to into coaching? Uh, well, I, I think I have something to contribute to football. Um, you know, this will be my 43rd year in, in professional coaching in the professional league, so uh, I have some experience, and, uh, and I think I can add to uh, our team and help them be a winning franchise. Right on. And I have to ask you about one of um, one of the players you coaches, the the late Marion Barber. Do you do you have a me favorite memory you could share with us about uh, Marion? Yeah, I was really sad to hear about Marion, a, a great person. Uh, I think a, a lot of people don't know, but uh, he could play classical piano and never had a lesson. And he w he was kind of bashful. He would you know we'd have to try to get it out of him. But but it was pretty neat to see a guy that talented as a football player, but he, he was a natural talent at, uh, on the piano. All right, and last one for you, Coach. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, what, what is it like to have him as a, as a owner of the XFL, and, and um, what's it been like to be around him? Hey, it's exciting for me. I mean, who wouldn't want to be around The Rock, you know, and say, hey, Rock, how you doing? And he said, hey, Coach Wade. I mean, you know, so uh, this is a really neat deal for me. Really appreciate it, Coach. Yeah, you bet.